A world of spices. What are spices? You may be wondering what exactly spices are. How are they made? Where do they come from? They are grown in many places around the world. India, China, and the spice islands of Indonesia are the major spice producing areas. Spices can also be found growing in parts of Africa, Mexico, and the Caribbean islands. There are many kinds of spices, some of which come from the fruit of plants, while some others come from the seeds of plants. For example, spices such as vanilla and red pepper come from the fruit of plants, while mustard comes from the seeds of a plant. You can buy some spices whole, while others are made into powder or oil. How do we use spices? Spices have been used since ancient times during worship and various other ceremonies. They were also, and still are, used in medicines. In early times, pepper and other spices were used in wines. Which were drunk to improve health. Today, ginger is often used to help with travel sickness and colds. Dentists have also used clove oil to help with toothaches and other things. Some spices are used in cooking because they have a heating effect on the body, which can actually help cool the body down in hot weather. That is because various spices can make your body sweat. As the sweat on our body evaporates, we cool down. At mealtimes around the world, you can smell the different aromas of the spices being used. Spices are also used to create a nice aroma in homes and in skin care products. For example, there are candles, incense, lotion, and other products that use spices. It is even believed that in earlier times, the Chinese often chewed cloves to freshen their breath before talking to the emperor. In what ways have you seen spices being used? The Battle for Spices Spices are mentioned in many different historical records. For centuries, it was the Arabs that had control of the spice world. They would bring spices from the spice islands and the Orient. In order to stop merchants in Europe from joining the spice trade, they would make up stories of danger and beasts. Some historians say that it was because of the writings of Marco Polo that merchants in other countries joined the spice trade. Marco Polo wrote of seeing spices in places like China and India. Many European countries tried to reach those areas for spices, which led to the battle for power over the spice trade. Christopher Columbus actually set out to find another route to spice growing countries. This would have allowed the Spanish to trade directly with the spice growing countries. However, instead, he came across the Caribbean islands and surrounding areas. There, he was introduced to new spices, such as allspice and vanilla, by the local people. Pepper was one of the most powerful spices in history. It was so valuable in Europe that some people used it as money to pay their taxes. It is said that the guards working on the docks in England had their pockets sewn up. Peppercorns were counted one by one because the merchants didn't want any to be stolen. Modern Times It is very easy for us to buy and use spices today. They are part of everyday life. You may not realize it, but the things you eat, drink, and smell 
often have the aroma or taste of spices. What spices are in the kitchen of your home? The next time you eat something, see if you can work out what spices have been used.